Okie dokie. Hey guys, we here. I'm back to a brand new video today, and today we are going to be checking out the game Super Mario Maker. Now, I bet you're probably wondering why I'm deciding to play this game of all games today. Well, it is because I have a particular course world to show off for you all, and that world is, let me go ahead and scroll to it, the Jump Mob World. <laughs> But no, seriously, the Jump Mom world. So, a bit of backstory on this one. Me and my sister made this fuck knows how long ago. Looks like this world was created all the way back in October of 2015. So, yeah. I honestly don't remember why we created the Jump Mom world. I guess we just wanted to fuck around and stuff. I've actually been wanting to do this video for quite a bit now. But I wasn't able to because I had to update the system. And also I had to get the fucking internet password so that I could even play this to begin with. So, yeah. That was fun. But yeah, I figured that I might as well just get it out of the way now. Just go ahead, go through the hassle, and get it all set up. So, that is why we are here today. So, I see no reason to really drag this on further. Let's go ahead and show off the Jump Mom world. Starting with the first course, Jump Mom. Oh, good God, this is going to be a dumpster fire. <laughs> All right, so we have just landed smack dab in the middle of the Jump Mom world, and it appears to be a clusterfuck with a lot of coins, ground blocks that I'm getting fucking uh, swatted by fucking cat paws for. This is supposed to literally be Jump Mom shit, by the way. That's why I'm getting swatted because he's like, no, don't touch my group. Uh oh, it looks like we ran into our first boss. Uh, this iconic face, which is obviously based upon his uh, Minecraft skin and shit. So yeah, very well designed course, I must say, dude. This is like amazing. No one can design a course better than this. Oh, well, look at that. It's already the end. Yay. Oh yeah, I forgot. We actually inserted voice clips in this little world here. So you can hear 2015 LC50. Uh, do his uh, jump mom voice, which is virtually the same as it's always been, honestly. Moving on to the second course, jump mom's house. Oh god. Let's go see what Frankenstein has to deal with on a regular basis. Alright, we're in his. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it, dude. I get it. You're telling Jumpmon on me. But yeah, these guys, these fucking uh, Goombas are also supposed to be as fucking like shit. That's why they're arranged in a way to where there's like two separately on the edge and then just like two on top of each other in the middle. That's what that is supposed to be. They're Jumpmon's guards. And every time you kill one, they, 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 they straight up, they say it. They're turning Jumpmon on you. And we even got some para Goombas or para shits, I guess in this case. Jumpmon's house a very uh, narrow entryway. You have to be like tiny as shit in order to get in here. He has multiple rooms to pick from here. We have this room, which is his kitchen. Here's where everyone else eats. Probably like Frankenstein is like his sister. And here's where he eats. Like he just eats shit all day long for those that haven't seen any of my plush videos and don't know a fucking thing about Jumpmon. This appears to just be his like regular room. Not his only room. He actually has another room outside of this, which you will see in a second. I like the little detail here where you have the note block as his pillow. Let's go into the final room. You can't go, on, go in, which is literally just his fucking toilet like this is literally just his toilet you can literally go inside his toilet and not only can you go inside his toilet there's a whole other world inside of it it's like those who don't know Jumpmon's toilet is big enough to be i guess lived inside of he just has his fucking faces and his name and crap plastered everywhere because he shits in his uh, to fucking toilet daily so but yeah sometimes he will just go in here i don't know what this is supposed to be it looks like just some fucking rotating shit he has here right beside his second bed so yeah for those unaware and uh, you can add this to the wiki if you want jump on fucking can't sleeps inside of his toilet sometimes he has a place for it and everything okay dude i get it you're telling jump on me i'm getting the fuck out of here okay jeez there's so much fucking shit around here literally so yeah that was jump mon's house hope you learned a lot from that the fact that Jumpmon literally sleeps inside of his toilet sometimes. All right, moving on to the third level. Jumpmon's secret lair. Oh, no. As you can see on the bottom screen there, this seems to be a bit of a, a, bit of a tough one. You can't just 
do something like this. You literally die if you do that. There's only one path you have to go. Jamon decided to fucking build his lair on like a really narrow ass mountain. For some reason, when you destroy fucking anything in here, it th this place is like so fucking uh, poorly uh, maintained and stuff <laughs> that just fucking rocks and stuff fall from the sky every time you like touch anything. It's like, bro, Jumpmon, you literally couldn't find a better place. You had to pick the most fucking, uh, most poorly main pla tame place you could. Yeah, we're in Jumpmon's secret lair now. We're gonna go in this room. And it's it's just a room with his face. <laughs> That's all it is. It's just a room with his face. There's like nothing else to it. Jumpmon's so fucking narcissistic that he just has his face plastered here. It's like, he doesn't give a fuck, dude. Alright, let's go into the other room. And it's just another room with his minions. Oh, oh fuck, I forgot. You could literally get stuck on top of here. No! You can't get out of this either. Fuck. <laughs> fuck, you can't get out of this. I literally have to start over. Damn it. Yeah, shut up, Betty. I do not give a crap. Let's go back into the room where you literally have your face plastered everywhere. Imagine being like that. Just being so fucking narcissistic that you just have your face plastered everywhere you go. Like, who else does that besides, like... Jumpmon and fucking Eggman. Oh, we got a secret Bowser in here. Bowser just found a man to find himself in Jumpmon's secret lair. There's actually another path you can take there. Um, that skips most of that shit, but I'm not gonna show it off because fuck you. Now moving on to Jumpmon's restaurant. All right, here we go. Jumpmon's restaurant, which appears to be made out of fucking like thin ass tree wood. Okay. I don't think there's any difference between. Yeah, there's not. All right, so here's his restaurant. He serves crap. I mean, obviously, good old Jumpmon. Oh yeah, Jumpmon gets really mad if you like destroy his restaurant. Like he gets really pissed, like genuinely. <laughs> I guess this is just the room where he like cooks the food, which is just him basically shitting on a platter. He could probably get sued for like uh, fucking like endangering everyone's health. Honestly, not sure how he hasn't yet, but I guess no one goes to Jumpmon's eat place anyway, so it doesn't matter. We got another uh, secret area. Oh no, this is the area I was thinking of earlier. Can't fuck with his restaurant, dude. He's just gonna get really pissed. He's gonna be like, "Don't destroy my restaurant." Yeah, this is the area I was thinking of here. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I guess Jumpmon was again a poorly, a bought like a very poorly maintained area with like fucking rocks and shit everywhere. Everywhere. Let's just get through here. God, this video is so fucking retarded. Uh, we got a we got a secret star. Yeah. I don't think you can get, if you I don't think once you get in there you can like get out. So I'm not gonna do that. Let's just get through here. Yeah. Oh, some restaurant. <laughs> That's some restaurant. For real. All right, moving on from the restaurant, we're going to Jumpmon Sewers. Ew. Jumpmon Sewers. The fact that he has a sewer system is just like, what? Oh yeah, you could literally just like fucking end this. But we're not gonna do that, we're gonna go into the sewers and get Mario drenched in Jumpmon's garbage. Well, shit, but yeah. He has fucking clown cars in here to navigate through this literal sewer. <laughs> it's literally a sewer. What else do you want me to say? It's literally a sewer. There's no other better insult when it's like literally an insult in and of itself. What the fuck? Oh, they're saying, you will not get to Hakimon's castle. Looks like we're reaching the end then, if uh, we're gonna be reaching the Hakimon's castle. As his fucking shit minions say. Oh, we got two Bettys. Yo, we got the speed lines, we got the fucking intense music. Destroy all the Bettys. Yeah, shut up, fucking Jumpmon clones. Go give them a damn bowling ball while you're at it. I'd assume that these faces are like, these fucking bosses are like, uh, the other Jumpmons from the Jumpmon dimension. Oh, I forgot to get rid of his eye. And there we go. I had defeated the Jumpmon clones, so now it's time to get to the Jumpmon castle. By the way, the plot, uh, I'll go into this once we get to the next level, which is Castle Jumpmon. Oh no! The adventure's almost over. But no, for those that want to know what this dumbass plot is, in the first level, just called Jumpmon, Jumpmon gets captured by Bowser. And then Mario ends up saving Jumpmon at the end. That's why his face is uh, on top of like the castle. Because you saved Jumpmon. And then, later on, 
as the playthrough goes along, Jumpmon kidnaps the princess. So that's why you're going to Castle Jumpmon to kick his ass to get the princess back. That's a fucking stupid ass plot of this world. Jeez, this fucking castle's like as fucking stable as like a fucking a, a fucking twig. You probably picked some like old abandoned fucking th uh, castle that Mario destroyed ages ago up. And then just like, mm, this could be my Laurel. Oh yeah, th that's all Jumpman's castle is, by the way. He just has like this fucking like wall of crap, and then you like fight him, and then you win. Unfortunately, you can't send him into the lava because he's literally just a face. All right, moving on from the castle. He ain't over. He ain't giving up yet. The bet he hasn't given up yet. Airship Jumpman. He's fucking ready to destroy you. He's got fucking uh fucking coins with his face on it. I'm just gonna assume that this is all the money he stole. And Mario is just coming through here, not only to save the princess, but also to like retrieve all the money he stole from the bank. Which uh, good on Mario. Good on Mario for like uh stopping betty from like being a criminal though he'll still end up with green guy at the end of the day oh no jump on those we're up well, we're on to him destroy him fortunately i don't I, I don't know where all the hidden mushrooms are. there's hidden mushroom blocks and stuff in this uh, in this fighting level i just don't know where exactly most of them were but still i give up and never lose yeah for real yeah we retrieved all the fucking stolen money all right that was the jump jumpmon and now i just want to mention this right here there's apparently some other jumpmon level as well that i didn't make bowser's place question mark question mark question mark i don't know what this is and i'm not gonna cover it because like i didn't make it so yeah all right betty's final castle let's go can mario uh, stop the ugly betty and rescue the princess and uh bring him to where he rightfully belongs aka with the green guy in fucking jail all right looks like we got some actual power-ups here and one-ups so because this is the final castle there's actually a lot more going on here Oh, why do you defeat me? I know that was used in a video. I just don't remember which one. I'll put it up on screen right now. Uh, so I can let you guys know. But yeah. Yeah, this room is a trap room. You can't get out of this. Instead, like, uh, it's just a bunch of coin blocks and then a, a, a bunch of hula dancers that, like, follow you around. It's the most retarded shit ever, but what do you expect from a fucking jump mom level? Here he has a mountain with his face inside of it. Like seriously, this dude pl plasters his face on everything almost as bad as Eggman. Probably worse than Eggman, honestly. I don't remember where this room leads to. Nowhere important. Here we got another jump on. There's like no point. It's just a fucking coin block jump on that just kind of like exists. Go through this door. It literally just takes you to the, another, to the other side. And we're at the final stretch. It looks like one block fucking, I guess in Minecraft terms, this would be like four three block uh, gap jumps. All right, guys, real quick. I was just informed that the story behind this jump mom world is even dumber than I explained it to be. So to put into perspective, Mario uh, thinks he's saving the princess in that first level with jump mom, but he ends up saving jump mom at the end of the first level, but by complete accident, he thinks he's on his way to save the princess. And it turns out he's like, not so that's what happened then he goes to try to find bowser but he eventually meets up with bowser and bowser tells him that fucking well mario thinks jumpmon stole the princess i think and then bowser fucking he confronts bowser about it and then he goes on this whole tirade destroying the jumpmon world and then bowser later tells him that oh wait it wasn't jumpmon that did it so mario's basically doing this for no fucking reason so yeah this plot is even dumber than i uh explained it to be so but continuing on here we're almost at the end of this fucking stupid ass level more four block jumps and here we are the final boss the ugly betty himself all right let's go one block down two block down he's he's losing half of his fucking smile he's got uh, half, half his smile uh Fucking gone. Bam, knocked his eye out. Bam, the uh, fucking knocked his nose in. Bam, knocked his other eye out. All right, we got two more blocks. Cue the epic music. And the ugly Betty 
It's defeated. Oh, why do you defeat me? I don't know, Betty. I don't know why we defeat you. Apparently, Mario thought you were the fucking... You stole the princess, and then you actually didn't. And then you just got, like, destroyed for absolutely no reason. But who cares? You suck anyway. Oh, by the way, you literally don't have to go through this door. You could literally just go, th go up here and then hit the axe that way. But we're going to do it the formal way. And finish off the world correctly. Again, I don't know why we defeat you, Jump Mom. We just kind of did. So yeah, that was the Jumpmon world. Now I should have mentioned that there are a lot more worlds and courses here. Like we have uh, Pastel Black, which is one I made. I actually don't remember anything about that one. Dr. Mario, Waluigi Land. These are just levels I created by, I don't know, using the amiibo functionality. Mario's Bad Day was this level course thing I put together. Oh, there's another level called Frozen Betty, which I don't remember fucking anything about either. But yeah, that was the Jump Mob world. Both one of the stupidest things I've ever made a video on, and probably one of the greatest, to be honest with you. So yeah, I got nothing else to say other than I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. So um, again, let me know in the comments below if you want to see me uh, tackle any of these other courses I made. I will certainly be down. Guess what that? That's going to do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and all that. And I We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, Luigi fans. My nose is at you, dude.